probably don't know what Hudson means. I do know what Hudson means. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. You're clever, too. Sometimes. And here we have the massive transit buses everywhere. Yeah, the bus station got flooded out. This is where the buses are now. Oh, okay. Here's just a little trailer. And now we are entering the little, uh, known as Little Bohemia, a.k.a. Czech Village. So, um, actually they were there kind of... Go ahead. There was an old cab parked over there once that I got a picture of in a video for Andy, but I don't think it's there anymore. No, I don't think it is either. Brush is, is just... It had, like, plants growing out of it. But there was a... Can't go in there, can you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't they know that I want to go in there? You're, you're doing a tour. Come on. That's right. Um, all of these, you'll see, like, like the top of the buildings or whatever have, like, you know, names. names and, yeah. and it's, like, a lot of the unions. And they had, there's a place. Oh, um, see the lions? Oh, this was all flooded, then? Yeah, this yeah. was all flooded. It, so this has all been redone. Yeah, we're on the river. Yeah, we're on the river again. Um, this big, huge monstrosity on the right is the National Czechoslovakian Museum, which they had to move. They had to actually crank it up and physically move it over because of the flood. It was absolutely oh. destroyed in the flood, so they've been rebuilding it and moving it and moving it and cranking it up some more and oh moving my. it and moving it. And All the money. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is what's fondly known as Czech Village, and you'll see the little flags with the little oh, yes. lions on them. And my favorite oh. store that hasn't come back, it used to be a saddle and leather shop. It had the most amazing smell in there ever. You like the smell of leather? I love the smell of leather. Just call me weird. She was this yesterday. I bet. Oh, yeah. Maria's Tea Room. Um, all of these shops, most of these shops are run by Czech people. Um, little bandstand they have. Um, there's actually still an accordion school that takes place down here um, of old Czech people. And they have Czechoslovakian dancers. And here's um, the Sakura's Bakery. It's an old Czech bakery that they have. Um, oh, they are open again. They let them open up again. <laughs> They've had some problems with the health department. Um, there used to be um, an old um, butcher shop down here. He did it the old Czech way. When they got flooded, they mandated that he had to get new equipment and he couldn't afford to do it, so he had to close down. So, um, and so a lot of these places, properties, and then they changed their mind, and then the government, you know, it was just a red tape nightmare. And these poor people, you and know. No house. And yeah. They're and in, have lost. That's right. Their investments and... Yep, they've lost everything. They still have a house. Oh, hey. Well, do you see what's in the yard back there? No. What is it? Look at it. Show me. Oh, oh what's that? What is that? A groundhog? Yeah. Yep. You oh. probably got a house in there. Is that groundhog? Yep. Well, he's a got a house. No. I have you never seen, seen a groundhog no, before. I have. Never yeah. seen a live oh, one. Now I have. No, I've seen them on TV, but... That's oh, the fat little bugger. Yeah. Oh, they're fat, yeah. And, they, you know, that's the other problem is all these animals are moving in. We used to get them. They used to attack our garden. Fat quick. Fat quick. Fat quick. Fat quick. Fat quick. Oh, it's good to see you, Andy. It's good to meet you in person. Dwayne, it's been a pleasure and a half, I tell you. It's I'm, I just wish I wasn't so exhausted oh, having I been, been a, I, I got half an hour to sleep in the, in the last 30, so I'm about to go to sleep now, and uh, I'm going to have Fickwake sleeping in my driveway. It was great meeting you. Great meeting you. I'm about to do it again sometime. Nothing fake about you at all. Up in Canada. Likewise. Come yeah. up and visit in Canada. Yeah. I've got to get out of the United States at least once yeah. in my life. Yeah, exactly. There's a, no better place than Victoria in Canada. Yeah, and it's not even far from the border. You're getting out of frame here. I am? Yeah, and I can't move back any further. It's not a, I can't do that? <laughs> no, you can't. No.